I toured the White House, dumbasses. Oh, God. Hey, it's Susan. and welcome to tonight's episode of War Crimes Unit. Nice to see ya. Hey, don't forget to get a damsel in defense stun gun. 7.5 million volts could save your life one day. It's got a removable safety pin, so it cannot be used against you if it's taken from you, and it's also rechargeable. You can get one directly from Damsel and Defense. Find the link for the store at the iSue's Home Shopping Mall on Facebook. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like, when in doubt, think like the Secret Service. That's what I always say. They actually have a really good publication. It's a, it's a threat assessment analysis paper. You can find it on the Secret Service's website and download it. it uh, it's kind of like an educational tool, tool for law enforcement. And actually talks about, you know, violent situations and how they prepare for it and all that. So, oh my God. Oh my God, Secret Service. I mean, you know, the Secret Service told me to keep working with Congress. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've tried, to, I've tried that before. I've even started this, this some of the things to Congress off by saying, the Secret Service said, keep working with Congress. There was an agent there in, uh, agent there in Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona office. See, the Secret Service had sent me mail when I was living in a domestic violence shelter in Goodyear, Arizona. It was confirmation of my White House tour. See, I thought if I had something from the Secret Service, that would help this whole case. Because, like, you know, apparently I'm listed as Al-Qaeda or something like that in that damn stupid FBI, NCIC crap database. So I thought that, you know, <laughs> I thought something from the Secret Service would help. It was the craziest situation because, you know, um, the Secret Service, according to their whatever their policies and stuff, you know, it's, uh, I had to go get it notarized. So I, I went and I got, I got this notarized and I had to explain to the secret service that, I mean, I know you're the secret service, secret service, but I'm staying in a domestic violence shelter and I cannot disclose the address of the domestic violence shelter, but here's the PO box. <laughs> you can mail it to. So you can actually see that letter. If you go to a, a web link that I have, igeometricmediagroup.prosite.com. I have to find it within the terrorism nexus. So, you know, it was kind of one of those things. I was going up to Senator Harry Reid's uh, Welcome to Washington breakfast that he holds for all constituents visiting Nevada. And the only reason I had to do that is because that damn Las Vegas office wasn't doing their job. I mean, nothing was going anywhere. And then, you know, I, I had sent stuff over to him. I wanted an appointment there in the Las Vegas office. This is back in 2009. And, you know, I didn't get an appointment. And then, you know, I go on this cruise in the beginning of January, and it was a back-to-back -back cruise. It was like five days, four days, five days, going, in, you know, around my, you know, the port of Miami. And I, all these people, like, showed up on my cruise. I, you know, you have these cruise ship dinners, cruise ship dinners, and I sit down at one of my dining tables that night, and then there's, like, two women from Chicago, there's, there's a chick from Florida, and then there's a couple. One claims to be a retired oil executive, the other claims to be a retired attorney from the State Department. I sit down at my dining table. Oh, you're from Nevada. Senator Harry Reid. Oh, Nevada. Senator Harry Reid. Nevada. Senator Harry Reid. Oh, my gosh. Senator Harry Reid. I'm thinking, why the hell are all these people on my dining table, on my cruise ship, sitting there talking about Senator Harry Reid on my cruise ship? I mean, it was just a coincidence that everybody sitting at my dining table just happened to be well-versed in politics. And then on another, I think it was the next cruise. The next, I think it was the four-day cruise, or one of them, whatever. Then attorney Terry McMillan shows up, shows up at the Irish pub on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship, walks in. I, re I recognized him, but I couldn't figure out where, and I thought, I thought he was an attorney, and I actually accused him of being a U.S. attorney, sent to scold me for taking a cruise outside of the United States. And he turned out to apparently not be a U.S. attorney, but he turned out to be an attorney. And we had this, I had this big huge fight with him in, the, in, the, in the, a dance club called The Dungeon on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship. And he's saying, Senator Harry Reid, I'll fly you up there. I'll even take the IGT jet up to Washington. Can you believe this crap? Can you believe this crap? I mean, but anyway, I had already 
looked into going to Washington, D.C. So when I found out that was probably the best way for me to talk to the senator directly because his staff members, there seemed to be something wrong with his office in Las Vegas. And so I flew up there. But whole Washington, D.C. wardrobe, so I was, like, you know, dressed to kill, looking like all Washington, D.C., like, not like the crap that I'm in now. I said, hey, while I'm up there, I can tour the White House. Oh, my God, hey, why not? Why not? The White House is open for a tour. Guess who can arrange that? Oh, my gosh, Senator Harry's office arranged my White House tour. I also got a tour of the Capitol from some of his um, interns that I've toured the White House toward the White House, and there's actually, well, at the time that I went, actually a big portrait of um, Hillary Clinton there when you walk in. But it was interesting, when I go up to the White House gate, the Secret Service said I was on the list twice. Once is Susan, and the other is Suze. I was like, okay, well, okay, what's going on here in the White House? What is going on here in the White House? I mean, that's not, that's very nice that the Secret Service knows my nickname, Sue's. Well, okay, what, I just kept thinking to myself, what in the damn hell is going on? You know, I mean, I had no idea. But, you know, I passed through Secret Service security, and I toured the White House. And I had this confirmation letter from the Secret Service. Special Agent Craig Ulmer up there in, uh, I forget what office that is, up, th up there in Washington. And then, you know, another, you know, because I wanted actually, you know, I wanted something a little bit more official to say, I mean, um, you know, even maybe more detailed. I mean, the Secret Service, the letter that they sent me, wow, very detailed. They even told me about these things called uh, waves records, you know, that it's not within the purview of the Secret Service. They're called waves records, and that's subject to uh, whatever, White House counsel stuff and pursuant to this, that, and the other. I mean, a very detailed letter explaining to me the the right laws on this. And then, and then they had talked about that they're referring it to, uh, referring my request to White House Counsel. I never heard back from White House Counsel. Never heard anything from White House Counsel. A lot of people were shocked. They're like, I can't believe President Obama's not doing anything for you. Well, you know, all I can say is that I'm not black. And then, you know, the Secret Service, I was down in Houston, Texas. I called the Secret Service up there, you know, in Washington. When I was down in Houston, Texas a couple of years ago, and I was on a Saturday. And they told me that they couldn't call White House Counsel until Monday. But apparently they were going to call White House Counsel on Monday. Still have not heard from White House Counsel. Isn't that crappy, dude? It's really crappy. But I toured the White House. A real terrorist would not be allowed to tour the White House. The Secret Service would not have let me in the door of the White House. I was joking with this uh, guy that was up there in Washington, and uh, I'm like, you know, it's so, I, I was just sort of making a reference that, you know, the Secret Service, you know, they, uh, that name, Secret Service, well, they're quite visible for being the Secret Service. And I'm like, so, like, what actually does the Secret Service do? I mean, I was kind of green, you know, back then. And he was like, oh, well, why don't you go after the president and see what the Secret Service does? I'm like, okay, no, never mind. No, I got it. But it's just it's interesting, the name, Secret Service, and they're very, very visible. Um, and, you know, apparently there's snipers on top of the White House, too. Well, the snipers didn't snipe me. The Secret Service did not tackle me. And the Secret Service agent that gave my tour was a female. She was extremely intelligent. If you have ever talked to the Secret Service, or if you ever get a chance to talk to the Secret Service, they are extremely intelligent. They are probably the most intelligent law enforcement agency in the United States. And they're extremely professional. But yeah, no, I'm not a terrorist, and, by, and if I was a terrorist, the Secret Service would have tackled me for even trying to get in the White House. They would have apprehended me. You know, they wouldn't have let me in. I'd be in prison right now, not be making this video. Okay. <laughs> I was a terrorist. I was a terrorist trying to get in the White House. Yeah, that's today's episode of War Crimes Union. I call it this thing the biggest case of government fraud since Watergate. Everything trails back to the kids, the trade of the kids. They had to come up with a scam on the computer because they traded the kids. Keep your stun gun handy. There's real criminals and terrorists out there. Not me. Forget to get one at the ice cream shopping mall on Facebook.